Hey everybody, welcome back to another gameplay video. Checking out Toy Bazaar for the Commodore 64 by Activision. Uh, interesting little game. It, it kind of reminds me of Mario Brothers in a way, but uh, I'll be doing a gameplay of that in a second. I'm going to check out the box for it. That's pretty neat. It looks like a little present. Toy Bazaar present. Pretty interesting little... Uh, packaging on that. It's it's from Mark Termal, and I don't know if that's the same guy that did the NBA Jam, worked on the NBA Jam series by Midway. It might be, it might not be, I'm not sure, but uh, we'll check that out in a second. Let's go ahead and get ready to play this. I'm playing it on real hardware. Um, I'm using the, I've got it, it's a S-Video hookup, so it's not a modified, you know, RGB or, or whatever hookup. It's it's S video, which I like the, the quality of it. It looks pretty good. Using the Atari twenty six hundred joystick. So let's go ahead and jump into this game and try it out. Um, let's hit F one, I think. There we go. To play a one player game. Alright, what you do, I'm this guy on the left here. Monday night hour one. There's I'm the guy right there in red, so I'm jumping, as you can see. I'm shutting off these little valves here to kind of keep the the uh, these little balloons from coming up. And let's see here. Are you see those are the uh, toys? You see them coming out? Those balloons, those yellow balloons. If you can get them before they pop into toys, you can. Oh, you want to try to do that? Otherwise, you get hurt. Also, they'll land on these little platforms, and if you can knock the platform up, they'll kind of be stunned, and then you can attack them. See, when they change colors like that, they're they're kind of stunned. There we go. All right, you got to watch out for that. Um, the other person right there. I think that's uh, Hilda or something like that. Let's see here. Uh. Hefty Hilda. So you got to watch out for her. I guess it's a her. But anyway, you just got to get rid of, the, clear the board of the toys. And you can see the, the mazes change per level. You jump, but once you get on these little platforms, you can kind of jump a little higher, I think. Nope, there we go. But anyway, as you can see, I'm just trying to grab these balloons before they pop. And if they do turn into toys, they get stunned when they're on these little platforms here that are raised up. There's a coffee break. Ugh. All right, I'm trying to get these. There we go. Ah! There we go. Perfect. Ah, if I would have got that balloon, I could have, it's going to pop now. So you kind of avoid Hilda there. Alright, let's, boom, so I stunned him. And there we go. Got rid of another toy there. Interesting game, it's, it's very unique. I don't remember seeing this on the consoles, like the Ataris. Or in television, or nothing like that. All right, now this level, you gotta uh, turn off all the valves. Hilda will try to uh, turn them back on, but once you get them all turned off, you kind of clear the level. All right, there we go. Very nice, cool. Music's pretty cool on it, too. So here we go. Let's jump up here and try to get some of these threatening toys. All right, now we got some different colored balloons in the mix. See, so I want to get... There we go. Ah! All right, here we go.
There we go. Let's see if we can... Perfect. All right, you get the gist of it, kind of. I like it, though. It's, it's one of those games I discovered recently, so... All right. In the manual, it says if you get, like, 70,000 points and send in the uh, screenshot, you get, like, a, a patch or something. It's kind of like what... Uh, what the Activision did with a lot of their games back in the day. All right. Oh, there went Hilda. There we go. Come here, buddy. You gotta find the right one to. There we go. When they land on that, you gotta find the right one to. That'll pop up. Oh. All right. There we go. Once you get the hang of it and figure out what to do. All right. ah. All right. There we go. Got him. All right. Safety check. All right, so there's two of them now. There we go. We're at 23,130. All right, you can see the different balloons up there. We got blue, purple, and yellow. Ah, it's figuring out which one of these tiles will pop up the other floor tile when they stand on them. There we go. Yeah, come here, buddy. Boom. Ah, ah, oh, that was close. All right, cool. Extra life there. There we go. Took a little bit longer than I wanted, but. Here we go. Monday night, hour eight.
Here we go. Oh, come here. Move out of the way, buddy. I want to get these. Dang it. All right. Ah, all right, come on now. Oh no, I'm I'm falling apart here. Oh no, come here. Oh, and they're getting faster. Mm. Ah, I need that extra life. They're perfect. Ah, that was close. <laughs> All right, 28,900. Mm. All right, over 30. All right, safety check time. No safety bonus, darn it. All right, here we go. Thir Tuesday night, hour one. All right. Oh boy. Oh goodness. It gets tough when you get a lot of enemies on the screen there. There we go. Got rid of Hilda. For a little bit there. Ah. Come here. All right. There we go. Perfect. I see the clock up there. Wow. All right. Oh, did I run out of time there? Yeah, I think I ran out of time there. All right. Here we go.
All right. Oh. oh no. I guess I ran out of time. I guess it only gives you a certain amount of time or something. But anyway, 34,480. Uh, I need a little bit more practice on this, but you get the idea. This is um, Toy Bazaar. Interesting game for the Commodore 64. I like it. I do want to practice on this and get better at it, but um, you get the gist of it. Pretty cool game. Another awesome retro game. Uh, take care, everybody. I will see you again next time with some more um, retro games and just retro fun. All right. Take care, everybody.